Hi everybody from a beautiful early morning in the Commonwealth. Today I'm looking at another mod from Greek Rage and this is his Overland Station Reborn from last autumn. That's September 21 and I've not seen this yet. I've seen a couple of overhauls for Overland and I've built on this site myself. Um, you know, to a moderate degree of success. But I'm dying to see what he's done with it because as you can see in the vanilla, it's sad isn't it? It's super sad. Oh, by the way, this is my new puppy. Um, I had the cat for one of my Skyrim vids. I thought I'd have a dog meat for this video. <laughs> I know, I think I'm losing it too. Lockdown uh, has obviously started to get to me, although we are back to work next week, so maybe I'll, um, I'll straighten myself out a bit. Okay, let's go and have a look at this mod. Okay, and I'm back. And the background, by the way, for the doggy is a scene from Fable, the video game Fable. And look at this place now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's the railway line. And we can now go under there, down to the water. We have a big old barn over here. <laughs> complete with tractor. I'm very treeful around here because I've got another pine forest installed. A great mod. I've had to disable a few trees that interfered here. Wow. Okay, let me show you the statistics for the place as it is at the moment. All right, we've got uh, 39 water, 15 food, 450 power, 82 defense, 7 beds. So that's okay. And the beds, there, there are these new homes that he's put in. And I noticed on the mod description that he was saying that he realized that the windows weren't, you know, functional ones. So just to consider these homes as placeholders... Um, so obviously, you know, you can put whatever you want there. And I probably will swap those out. So, as you can see, it's all fenced in. We have Brahmin. And a nice farmyard here, really. Farmyard and lots of garden plots. This is very nice. I like the, um, the oil lanterns, too. And then the workbench has been moved indoors. It's in this building here. And this is empty, so I guess you can do whatever you want with that. There's also power sources around and about. You can see one there. That gun was already in position. There are a couple of empty platforms that you can put your own guns on. Oh, and here's your water purifier. Wow, my sunshine is crazy today. And again, that just hooks up over there neat all right so up here oh, wow as you can see here's the railway line we've got some a, a gun here facing this way and another one facing the opposite direction we've also got searchlights and then down there more homes and more power this is neat isn't it I don't know what what is that? Is that a water tower? Do you think? Oh, I haven't um, haven't seen that one. He has put in plenty of power points, so you're not going to struggle. Very handy. All right, so down here, there's another house just there that you can use. Same as the others. Pretty empty, but you know. Do whatever you want with it. Same next door. And there's like um, a garage type of thing. Carport or whatever here too. And then there's a little boat. Fish farm. And I don't know what that would be. Customs office maybe? Nice, eh? This is really, really nice. Oh, wow, there's a bed in here too. Oh, and stuff. Things to take. And all powered already. And here's my favourite bit. I guess this would be your house. I shall certainly make it mine. Look at those beautiful windows. I will probably swap out 
the um, broken glass there and put in, if I can find a, you know, something that matches, um, put in a replacement bit of wall for the, for the broken ones. I've never been fond of that, you know? Just feel like, <laughs> I don't know, just not keen on it. And then, ooh, going up. <laughs> Big room up here. Wow, I love the view from here. I think because now I've got all these trees, everywhere looks just so much nicer. You know what I mean? And then finally, just going on around a little bit further, there's an uh, RV down here. So someone can stay in that. Maybe me, actually. I love this. That is very cool. <laughs> the world's slowest sliding door. Nice to have, though, don't you think? Kind of reminds me of one of those, are they called Airstreams? Those old 1960s caravans. I love the look of those things. Sure, I'd be perfectly content living in one of those. All right, well, I think that's just about all of it. I will start, you know, oh, I've got a tree. Have I got a tree in the water? Oh my God, and a floater. Yeah, see, this is the thing. When you, it's like, um, the Great Forest of White Run Hold. You know, if you install that, then you inevitably have to delete trees from mods that you install in that area. And obviously I'm going to have to do the same thing here with my uh, pine forest. But I do love it, you know? All right. Well, I'll leave you with this view and call that the end of this video. Thank you, as always, for watching. If I get time, I'll add some more on at the end to show you what I've been doing. And I will see you for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Okay, so I have been doing some work. It doesn't look like much at the moment. Cleared out a few trees, swapped out the old broken windows for some nice new ones. I haven't decorated in there yet. And I thought that I would get rid of this building and I would build a sort of fish restaurant down here. Um, but unfortunately, even with scrap everything, you cannot get rid of this building or the little sort of garage thing next door. Um, I tried disabling. That didn't work either. So I guess I'm kind of stuck with that building, whether I like it or not. And there's very little else in the way of flat land, unless I make it myself, um, to do anything with it. So ah, eh. also, you're stuck with that one too. That one you can't clear out. So I focused most of my attention up here. I got rid of the old Covenant homes and built these two rather attractive buildings, even if I say so myself. No uh, credit to me whatsoever. This is Snappy Builds, uh, the Snappy House Kit. And I just thought I'd mess around. Oh my God though, wow, roofs, what a pain in my backside they are. I tried to put in skylights and every single skylight that I tested lets the rain in. So, um, yeah, that's annoying. So now they don't have skylights. <laughs> what a pity. And not just from Snappy either, from other mods that I've tried. Could not get the skylights to stop letting the rain in. So, anywho, a couple of brand new buildings here that I very much enjoyed. I enjoyed playing with them. And then I made a little park down there, just a sort of like a little wild wildlife park for insects and things. I thought I'd put some beehives in here um, although I've only got one queen on me at the moment and then it's just a seating area here nothing exciting and then the guard cabin which had those kind of shack bottoms and mm, rotten kind of wooden well building I just swapped that out with some new things so he's got a window he can look out of um, but he's got a bit of shelter as well, you know, and a sofa and a fireplace and some coffee making facilities. Because, you know, if you're going to be a guard, you, you know, you want it to be comfortable, don't you? And then I built a little conservatory at the back of the uh, warehouse barn type thing. And that's it, really. That's as far as I've got. I have enjoyed it enormously. I haven't built a beacon yet to summon anybody here. Just got the same two settlers and added a few fruit trees, lemons and apples in the garden. Um, that's it really, that's the whole thing. So I'll leave you with that view. Ooh, and swapped out the ugly old fences because, you know, 
these are nice aren't they they're not too pristine and clean looking but still nicer than the chain link that was there before all right i will leave you with that call that the end i will see you soon for the next one take care and stay safe everybody mm -hmm.